How are you? God bless you. I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me in our beautiful channel, wanting to inspire and encourage you to be strong in the Lord. So if you would love to see these activities, how I incorporated our core activities into Bible-based, I would love for you to stay tuned. So yes, uh, this is our little shelf that I'm sure you have seen all over the internet and YouTube with us homeschool mamas. Um, this is how I know about it. Um, and that's how I have it in my home today. So, so here on the top, I just have some random things, you know, that we need. Um, this is our little prayer, little section, uh, that we're going to pray for random things for the day. Homeschool. We're going to pray for our homeschool and other people's homeschool journeys and daddies. We're going to pray for our daddy. We're going to pray for, um, you know other people's daddies and health and other kids we're gonna pray for other kids and things like that we're gonna pray for doctors and nurses and uh, everybody in the health field and um <laughs> one of my child he wanted to put frogs so we're gonna pray for frogs and things like that so we just have stuff here nature we're gonna pray for animals and our planet and uh yeah so here i just have some school supplies and here is just random writing things that if i feel like we need a day of writing then we're going to pull out some things here and we're going to um you know this is what we're gonna do we're going to take out and we're going to do some writing all right we're gonna do some tracing and things like that so that's all that what that is here is just our pencil boxes here is going to be our nature journals i have not started to incorporate our nature journals into our curriculum just yet but i already bought them and then we have our activity log here that i do in an easy craft jumbo book and this is our curriculum that uh, we have. This is a Christian Seventh-day Adventist. I have a look through and flip through on our channel here. So it's Family Bible Lessons. And this is our first book, which is year one, quarter one. And we're learning about trees. So here is our Bible activities, which is Bible and nature. So it's Bible and science. And I wanted to incorporate this this week, which you can find these free principles in the Sunlight Ministry, educationministry.com. And these are about little books that we're going to make about creation, coloring books. And there you have number seven is very important. Okay, we are also going through our biology for everyday kids. And the this is some, um, I guess, experiments. They are experiments and we've been, the kids been loving them. Okay, so you put salt, water in one of the potatoes and the other one just put water and then you see what happens raisins and all that they love it so here is our curriculum for um our bible and science and any honestly there's math in here there is um writing so you know, we don't really have to add if we don't want to. But, you know, here they're going to do some writing and things like that. But it's always good that we need to expand. So this is a beautiful curriculum. I highly recommend you to do this. Here's our writing, reading. So, right now, this whole thing is about trees, but 
this is how it 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 all incorporates see the trees there and it's real beautiful it's super super beautiful so this is for math and how we we're learning about our dimes nickels and quarters okay we're learning what they are what they mean and all that so this is just you know the regular curriculum okay this is the regular curriculum and here it's our regular sheets that we incorporate in our everyday just random things that i know they going to learn from but if you want to incorporate money into a faith-based style then we're going to learn about spending tithing and saving so we're going to put some of our spending here we're going to put some of our savings and we're going to put some for tithing okay so this is how you can we can teach our children about faith-based and money things in general money topic that they need to learn we, you know when we get our money we can spend some for our bills mostly for our bills and a little bit for fun savings and tithing so our second tab or drawer here is english so i'm sure you have seen these 100 easy lessons for reading i honestly can definitely vouch for them for it it's it has been um helping a lot literally we have our regular cards that we have uh that i have for my ch my child and then a little book right this is this is the regular i change these up all the time and these two all right but if we want to incorporate our regular uh, curriculum switch things up we can go into sight words sight words in Old Testament and sight word in New Testament and I just put a couple here I a well the, God the to go people my people things like that this is mostly phonic the a and the a uh. <laughs> but hey sight words for new testament the jesus look i uh, can see things like that some words that they would probably see in the bible okay so that's another writing so this is a writing journal and um right here the child's we do like a little picture and then this is our writing so here in the beginning i will help out and then here the child will go on it by itself by himself um the bible is truth the bible is truth the bible is truth so this is our little uh journal and we're going to write numbers basically through day of creation but they're learning how to write the number on a word and then sunday monday so that's it for that and on our special binder or our special section here i have like a little sticker book fun stuff here just us having a good time learning about god and all that but i wanted to bring you to this we're learning about uh, my son already know about these type of ordinals but these are ordinal numbers so we would put um, the days of the week in ordinal numbers what I really wanted to do was um, learning about the um, the month, what is the month, the days of the week, and all the numbers and all that. Um, here, days of the week. And um, what I really wanted, and how you can put 
faith based in it is uh, Sabbath, when the Sabbath starts. Sabbath starts on Friday at night. Night. And then, then you have Saturday. Yeah, Saturday in the morning. And then p.m. again. So, basically learning about a.m. and p.m. That's basically how we're going to do it. And how we can incorporate faith base, which is uh, Sabbath. And Sabbath is Friday to Saturday. So, that's the um, how you can incorporate, you know, this type of learning into faith based learning. Okay, next up is for my other child. And we're learning the vowels. So, A, E, you know, the vowels. So, we got learning the sounds. I have all two sounds here ready to go. Um, but this is a little hanging thing. And we're learning our ABCs. We're learning our sounds. And we can, wah, wah, where's wah? So, wah is here. It's W. What's the sound for S? Where's S? Where's S? S you know, T, things like that. So we'll hang that up somewhere and we'll pinch our way through the letters and faith base. This is our Bible, ABC. So I got this at the thrift store and this is how we're incorporating our core subjects into Bible base. Okay, D is for David. Okay, E is for Esther. F is for the foolish virgins. <laughs> Um, things like that. So K L N is for Noah. What's the sound for N? N N. So you can read and do the the name of the letters and also the sounds. Okay, so that's A B C Bible based. Okay, next up is math, and we're learning our way through counting to 100. I think we're pretty much good. I need to work on 100 to 200, but I thought this would be fun just since we're just learning about numbers, um, just to break down the whole uh, just routine. So we're just going to look for numbers and color them. My children definitely know the numbers 1 to 7, but it's just something that is for fun and to follow instructions regarding numbers. So, yeah, this is basically it since we're learning about uh, our curriculum with the sunlight. This is God made the plants, colors, but number. So, God made the plants. That's what we're learning right now. So, I thought this would be fun. And how you can also incorporate... Um, math into your you know bible into your math curriculum so writing i have here a little writing activity uh i found this and this is free okay you can stop the video and you can screenshot it if you want and this is adam eve the angels apples you know i only printed two because i only needed two i thought the other ones were a little bit um you know for smaller children but this is good writing um tracing activity so this is how you can incorporate uh the other ones oh yeah let me see that's the uh, this one's how you can incorporate faith-based writing and the other one is the sticker book again same thing that i have for my other child sticker book so there you have it. These are our faith-based activities and how you can um, incorporate your everyday course, core subjects in 
transform them into faith-based. So if you want to do that once a week or just all the time, you can definitely do that if you want. But I just thought it was fun for a little bit of, you know, transition and a little bit of spicing up something different. Um, you know, a regular everyday type of curriculum, you know, I think it's fun to switch it up a little bit and work with different things, you know. So, yeah, I thought that this would be an amazing thing to show. And I think I hope. That it was a blessing into your life. Let me know if it was. Let me know in the description box below. If this inspired you to make your own. Um, in your own little kind of way. Because that's where we all here. We get inspired from different things. And you know we make our own little thing at home. And that's what I'm just doing. I'm just doing my own little thing. And just sharing with the world. All right. Well, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.